Hello beautiful people, so as promised I made a part 2 of computing concepts and application skills. But before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe and like this video, it's totally free and you won't need to pay anything, yes. So um, let's first look at what a PC is. So a PC which is a personal computer is a personal it is a device that is suitable for individual or even personal use a person who uses a computer is called a computer user or just a user there are different types of personal computers which vary from sizes performances and costs and types of pcs include desktops workstations laptops tablets and even smartphones the ones we use each and every day yes so um a computer is made up of two important parts which are hardware and software right so a hardware is a physical computer component that you can see and touch the hardware is classified as input processing storage and output devices which we will discuss in the next video I mean I'll see but then I think we'll discuss it in the next video and um, a software is an electronic program that tells the computer hardware what to do a computer is a machine right and needs instructions to carry out work software is very important as it changes a computer from an electronic hardware device that cannot do anything into an extremely powerful tool that is capable of performing many functions yes so all computers need a software and now there are various types of computers that are meant for different purposes right and the types are servers desktops workstations all-in-ones portable devices embedded computers and we'll actually discuss them right here a server is a special computer that provides a dedicated service to the user servers are used to control and manage the sharing of data and resources over a network some examples are database servers and you know cloud servers right and like um servers actually have advantages and disadvantages and the advantage is, is that it is extremely powerful and it, it offers a large amount of data storage and the disadvantage is that it is very expensive and requires specialized hardware software and lots of cooling down to operate yes and um, as you can see um, desktops are an example of personal computers they are meant for personal use or for daily business operations that do not require great processing power for example a desktop may be used at a college for data capturing by administrators or by students in the computer labs right and the advantages of a desktop is that it can be upgraded easily and it is also reasonably inexpensive right and the disadvantage is that it is not portable it is bulky and takes up a lot of space and it is not actually as reliable as workstations and we're gonna discuss workstations after desktop right so um workstations are powerful personal computers that are similar to desktops they are meant for specific purposes in the workplace and they can be connected to a network right they are sometimes used by engineers programmers and graphic designers and um, the advantages of workstations is that uh, they work well for high intensive tasks that that require a lot of processing power so basically they are strong and the disadvantages is that they are very expensive and usually require lots of cooling because of the high performance parts produce lots of heat because they work a lot right and um all-in-ones are an example of pcs right they do not have a separate tower but instead all of the internal computing components are built into the monitor a popular example of an all-in-one pc is the apple imac as you can see in the picture 
and the advantages of these all-in-one pieces are that they are easy to set up and they take up less space since all the computer components are built into the monitor and the disadvantage is that not they are not very easy to upgrade and they are more expensive than desktops and laptops you know and um uh, portable devices are usually meant for personal use they can be carried around easily and are simple to use and we've actually discussed portable devices before in my last video and these are the most popular examples of pcs especially smartphones right and the advantages of portable devices is that they can be upgraded easily and also reasonably inexpensive and they are also easy to carry but the disadvantage is that they are not as reliable as workstations yes um portable devices are our um, they're basically our everyday devices that we use in our everyday lives and um embedded computers um devices that are able to do some processing but they are not complete computer devices like pcs some of these examples are smart tvs and smart fridges you know as you can see in the picture and the advantages is that they are easy to set up and it takes up less space and the disadvantages is that they are not very easy to upgrade and they are more expensive than desktops and laptops yes and um yes that is actually all for the part two and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that this video was informative for you guys if you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel to help me grow and also share this video with your friends from school thank you guys for watching and um my next my next video will actually be um i'll actually see what i'm posting next but then yeah i'll see you guys in the next video